weeks later. What's going on guys? Change of scenery here. So if you guys haven't checked out my social medias, I've been teasing and I have announced recently, more formally on Instagram, that I finally moved out of my parents' house. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram and or Twitter, then you guys can check out the links below or I'll put out somewhere here on the screen that you guys can check it out. But big milestone that we finally, finally hit. Like literally, I couldn't be any happier right now. That's why you haven't seen an influx or any new like waves of videos from me just because I've been hauling ass on this move and trying to get everything moved in and get settled. Finally, I think we're, we're, we're settled and I can start creating more videos for you guys, but I wanted to update you and let you know that yes, finally it's happened. We are in our own place and I have pretty much my own studio to kind of do my own thing and create in a new environment. So it's gonna be one, a change of scenery and two, even more content for you guys to see. There's definitely, like I said in a previous video and if you guys haven't checked that out, I will put a link up here as well to that video on uh, updates to the channel. But I'm gonna be doing more day in the life vlogs, uh, just kind of bringing you along for the day. You know, there's a lot that's been happening in the month of March. It's April now at the time of this recording, but March was crazy. Got a new job, moved out of the house. A lot of things happening all at once. So finally, I think things are starting to even out and level out and the content will be pushed out. I'm going to still do the same kind of content that I've been doing, but just more vlogging and, and things like that, because I think it's going to be very, very interesting to bring you guys along this new journey that I'm on. Uh, prior, it was a journey of trying to get this job. Now it's I'm on the job and we're going to start this new journey together. So that being said, uh, the setup has changed and they're in two different spots now. I have a gaming slash streaming setup as well as the productivity slash work setup. I wanted to update you guys on what they look like right now. They are not completely done just yet, so I will just give you a preview slash rundown and then hit me down in the comments if you guys want to see an updated, well, you guys don't really have to hit me up in the comments. I'm definitely going to do an updated setup video slash tour where I go in depth in what's on the desk and things like that. So that being said, let's go check out the desk and I will show you guys around the setups. All right, so as soon as we come in from outside, you come in here and this is the setup. So uh, just for context here, the previous owner, we moved into a house and they left a lot of their stuff. So that's why a lot of the stuff is already furnished slash. There's some other things that aren't from me and my roommate, but this is the gaming slash streaming setup. Again, this is not completely done yet. It's not completely cable managed or anything like that, but let me just walk you around a little bit. Um, obviously, I still have a Google router and then an HDMI cord right there that I got to set up, but here it is. I thought I got a triple monitor stand. It's not on right now. My PC is down here. Again, I will do another updated video going in depth into like the specs and things, but hit me down in the comments if you want to know sooner than that, and I will definitely let you know, but this is what it was at the previous house. I just moved it completely and um, I'm loving the setup so far. Everything's working the way it is. Obviously the internet situation for gaming and streaming needs to change once I hook up that router so I can be wired. But again, um, this is where the setup's gonna co coincide. I'm by the backyard here. So I kind of have a nice uh, background for the streams, but this is where I'll be sitting primarily for gaming slash streaming. I'm also isolated from the rest of the house. So over here is where you go into the rest of the house so that way if I'm screaming or if I'm a little loud, not everyone's gonna hear me. But yeah, this is gonna be the setup. Let me walk you guys over to the other setup and then go through that as well. And then as you walk in here, I'm on the other side of the house. This is in my room. So there's the closet, there are obviously some garbage bags full of stuff and other things that I've got to organize still, but got a nice bookshelf here that I think right here is going to be the background of my set. Obviously the, the hamper needs to move, but I think this is gonna be a dope little background to the videos now that I kind of have this corner in my room to myself. Obviously the bed, the Alex drawer has used as my nightstand in a sense, since I couldn't really fit it on this side. Um, iconic wall art, focused as fuck. You already know what it is. Uh, and then this is the setup right here so far. I have it cable managed for the most part and everything that I need is on it. Again, I will do another updated setup 
tour on this guy since a lot has changed in the past month or so. Got a lot of new products and I still have some new things to add. So definitely we'll be doing an updated setup, but I'm curious to know what the setup's gonna look like right here with this as my background. So let's switch, get the tripod in here, and then let's end the video here using this set. So let's go. All right, so this is what the set's gonna look like. I like the ambience here that, that's going on and, and having like an, an actual set in the room before the room was really, really cramped and I didn't have a lot of space to work with and I couldn't really set up like a really nice backdrop, if you will. And now that I have just one desk in the room and I can keep this place, you know, somewhat clean and, and have a nice setup back here, uh, it's it, the videos and the quality of the videos are going to just turn up a bunch. Um, I feel a lot more inspired. I feel happier. I feel more comfortable here in this space. And once I finally get some of the pieces that I need uh, and a little bit more equipment, then I think the production quality is definitely gonna be up to par with where I want it to be as far as my standards. But so far, I'm, I'm really, really happy. Uh, it's just been a huge, huge move in terms of like, again, moving out of the house Moving out of the parents' house specifically. Also, let's just like backtrack a little bit. I, I don't remember his name, but there was someone in the comments that was like capping on me that I'm my age, 23 at the time, 24 now, and living at my parents' house. Uh, what you gonna say now, buddy? I'm gonna put it hit somewhere here, but like, this is what happens when uh, haters come through the comments. I love to prove them wrong. And uh, I didn't do it just because that person made fun of me because I live, was living with my parents. It's probably one of the smartest things to do, especially in California when like rent is also crazy, crazy high. But for me, I wanted to move out one for the privacy two because I needed a space of my own to create and I couldn't really do that with the parents at home, with my grandma at home, with the dog at home. And now here in this new place, I can pretty much work uninterrupted, whether that's with Plaid or that's with YouTube and Instagram. Uh, I have my own creative freedom, my own creative space to kind of wander around the house and just do things that I want to do. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I moved and this, it was just a, it was a dope setup that I couldn't give up. So that's the main reason, but cool little side effect of proving the hater wrong. So there's that. It's been a, it's been a huge change. Hopefully that you guys will see the changes and you guys will see the up in quality of the videos. I'm going to try my best to stay on a schedule of at least one a week. Work has been um, kind of busy with the training, but also at the same time, I have a lot of time uh, because I'm still in training for the next two months with Plaid. And so far, everything's been great. Uh, I will bring you guys along for a day in the lives and vlogs like that, like I've said in the past, so you guys can get a little taste of what I am going through throughout the day. And you know, again, it, I just have more creative freedom here. So vlogging is a little bit easier because I don't have to worry about showing family members that I don't want to show or worrying about sound that's happening. Like the TV is always on, the dogs are always barking. So I don't have to deal with that here. And it's been very, very uplifting for me and I couldn't be any happier. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and a little small update as far as what's been going on. I'm going to, again, tr be back on the content grind and putting out more videos and content for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video and update. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think of the setup so far in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.